Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Steve Montelli. Today, I've got a couple of great examples of the Leathercraft learning curve. These wallets are from Steve McClard in, I believe, Missouri. He's a fairly recent leather guy, and he sent me a couple of his uh, works in progress. Besides these two leather wallets, I'm going to show you there are a couple of very small card holders on his Etsy site, but I want to look at these two leather wallets here. Now, this is some very stout leather, and if you're a Saddleback fan, then this is going to be for you. The first I want to look at is this small front pocket wallet right here. It's one piece of leather folded around on itself and stitched along the edges. Very simple, but I've really never seen another design like this. There are card slots on the outside, and you can see when I open it up, that there's card slots in where this leather folds on itself also. So you got two card slots on the outside, two card slots on the inside. Let me put some cards in here and, and show you what I noticed when I did put the cards in here. Now I've got two there and I've got three there. Now you can put some more on the inside, which, uh, you know, it, it, it's doable. Now, I discussed with Steve in emails about how the cards stuck out of the wallet further than I'm really comfortable with, but that's a feature he designed into the piece. He wants this wallet noticed when he takes it out of his pocket and is using it to uh, you know, pay for items, whatever he's taking it out for. And he feels that not setting these cards in deeper gets the wallet seen because the cards are once again sticking up higher than you would normally see in a uh in a usual wallet design once again you know it's all about personal preference some people like it some people don't uh now cash fits in right here in the middle and you really have to sort of pry this open because it's really like i said very very stout leather but the cash if, if you've got this is a pile of six bills now with this I can push this back into the center you know, fairly easily with just a few bills. That's how the cash stays in. Um, I think if you have a smaller amount of bills, let's say that I'm putting two bills in here instead of six. So if I take my two bills and I try and put those in, that's going to be that's going to be a little tougher because the bills send a, tend to bend on themselves because there's not quite as much uh, thickness there. So quartering the cash is going to work better for just a few bills and for faster placement. The leather is pretty stiff. So like I said, cash folded only once unless you have a good size stack of bills. You know, quartering is going to get the cash in there faster. Overall, the leather uh, cutting is good everything is symmetrical and i know how tough it is to get that uh, symmetry right stitching he's working on that and he knows there's a little bit further to go and it's not quite there yet but that's a small front pocket wallet all right now the bifold once again if you're a saddleback guy you are going to like the heft of this leather as you can see he's really put a lot of detail into this bifold um, he's actually etched my name into it. There's a little, uh, I, I don't know what you call this, a little branding down here with my name in it. He's got his, his uh, wallet logo right here. And then even on the outside, he put my initials on the outside also. So a lot of detail work went into this. And you can see that the cuts are very well done. The uh, curves are identical. He's got some etching going on uh, here and around the front like this, and then a little circular etch there, and there's, and there's slots cut here. I mean, everything is very well done on this wallet, and the stitching looks, you know, really good to me. And he says, you know, he's, he's got a ways to go, and, you know, that's, that's just part of the learning curve. But the functional point I brought up is the outside card slots. These here, these are like a couple of quick, quick draw slots. Now, what I brought up is when I put my five cards in here, uh, the cards just 
if I put a card in the outside like this and I push it all the way in, the cards will just fall down into the wallet. Okay, and then they come out like magic down in the cash pocket. So uh, we had a little discussion about that and it's like it loses function at that point. Now, he told me that he carries many more cards in this wallet than the five that I carry. And when you stack it full of cards, it's the actual friction that keeps the uh, cards in place on the outside so they can be used as a quick draw card. But overall, the leather is very nicely done. And Steve says these are just beta models that he's playing with and uh, they are still evolving. So we'll see where it goes from there. But, but the inside leather is dyed black. Uh, you know, cash goes in the cash pockets. And I've seen this kind of cash pocket design before. Uh, you actually see the bills going, going down the middle here. You know, it goes something like that and then, you know, closes up. But, you know, he's done a really, really nice job on his wallet. So he's got just a little bit to go on the stitching. And then I think he's going to have something that will work. But like I say, if you're a Saddleback fan and like the heft of a lot of leather, then uh, take a look at this. I will leave links down in the description box. And you guys have a good day.